Flinders Living is the name that we're now giving to Flinders Housing, and Flinders Housing is the accommodation arm of Flinders University. We have 550 students living on campus in two different venues, University Hall with 240 students, many of them rural Australians, and these students have a catered environment, they live in corridors, they enjoy communal meals in a dining hall, and so they're really well looked after. And the village is 82 self-catered units. They cook for themselves and they're less collegiate and a little bit older than the Hawleys and have a much higher international student population. It's fantastic working with university aged people. Such an exciting period of their lives where they're finding their own feet, they're finding their own leadership skills. They're creating new relationships and indeed often finding partners for life. Welcome to Uni Hall. I came here three years ago when I started my PhD degree in neuroscience. These three years have so far been really, really good. And I'm looking forward to this final year that I'm going to have in the hall. It's going to be great. Instantly when I came here I made a lot of friends quickly because all the 240 people you know who everyone is and you at least say hello to them every time you see them. It's the warmest, most welcoming environment I think I've ever come across in my life. are pretty good. I was surprised when I moved here. I thought they'd be, you know, as small as a shoebox, but you've got plenty of space. I've got a double bed in my room and I've still got room to sit at my desk. Each area has access to a few bathrooms and a kitchen. So although we're catered for, you can prepare your own food. You just have to do your own dishes and make sure it's kept clean. I think my room is very spacious actually. Looking at many places, I think we have very, very nice rooms here. We have really nice desks where you can, you know, you can have your laptop, your computer, and you can have your books, so you can work some at the same time. It's a place where, you know, you can go back and enjoy and feel relaxed, feel at home. It's your own space, your own environment, and it's very comfortable, really. I love the rooms because they have exactly what you need. Um, you have a kitchen really close by and the toilets are cleaned every day, so what else can you ask for, really? We got two toilets separate, um, two showers as well separate, nice big mirror. Before you know, going to class, you can go and check yourself out, make sure you're looking really smart, and you know, it's very nice to do. I think I've never actually had a bad neighbor. It's very hard to get a bad neighbor here because everyone's so lovely, so everyone respects each other, and they're not too loud, and it's always a very good neighbor relationship. My neighbors, we're all friends living in the unit. We're very lucky to be allocated these rooms this year. Nice and quiet out here. I think one thing about, you know, if, you, if you're staying here in Flinders Housing especially, um, it's a type of environment where you interact with a lot of people and we really get along. I mean, I'll be going out and they'll be doing the laundry and say hi, you know. Um, it's a good way just to meet people. So we do get along, which is, uh, which is very good and um, I think it's a privilege. I very rarely do cooking and that's actually one of the reasons that I came to the hall uh, and not the village because I am not bad at cooking, I just don't enjoy it at all. I enjoy eating it. The hall of course is a catered residence so they have breakfast and dinner together Monday to Friday and they cut their lunch together. We have two main meat options a night, whether that be chicken, lamb, beef, pork, um, it's varied. We also have a vegetarian option, so depending on the weather, that lets the students access basically what they want. I love the food here. I started to like it more and more. I'm grateful that someone is cooking for me. Of course, it's always good to um, to be catered because convenience. You don't have to cook, but you get the food already. 
so that saves you a lot of time. And the food is good as well. They try to include food from different cultures. So you get Aussie food, you get Asian food and all other sorts as well. The fact that they dine together means that they will form friendship groups and they will often sit with those friendship groups, but then they also make an effort to go and sit with other people that they wouldn't normally sit with. It's a different environment in terms of, um, in the hall, it's fully catered, therefore, you know, we all go to Central Dining Hall. It's a closer interaction with everybody. Here in the village, it's more of an independent lifestyle. The kitchens are very nice, uh, very modern. We have all sorts of utensils, nice stoves and really nice finish. Very spacious. Uh, you can have dinner, you know, at the table with your housemates. I think you can have a balanced diet, really, and uh, you know, have your vegetables, your fruits, and, and, and all the essential minerals. There are a lot of spaces for studying in the hall, and um, the whole environment is promoting that you study a lot. We have this uh, noise policy that you can't make too much noise so that people can sleep and feel rested and thereby study a lot better when they're actually awake. We can always study in our room and we have noise curfew so you have the quiet space to study. If you need any help or um, you need to go to the library in uni it's always closed as well. In the hall we've got a small library which has got a pretty good selection of books. You just need your room key to get in there so any resident of the hall can access that. During exam times in particular it has to be totally silent so it's a good quiet place to study. I use the computer room quite a lot actually. The computers there are equipped with the basic softwares and there are printers and photocopiers as well and of course internet. So even if you don't have a laptop yourself, you can always survive there. At the CC, we have two huge rooms and we always welcome students to get together in the village residence and study there because at the end of the day, it is an academic environment, you know. We also have the academic support by tutors and actually all residents in the hall tend to help each other. I've helped numerous students with maths, for example, and I'm also doing a bit of biology because that's my main subject. I think that the tutors are very good at offering their help to students and uh, they're doing it well. Is there any questions or comments? Some of it's to do with academic support, but it's also to do with having kind of an older, friendly face who's in the same faculty so that you can make some connections outside your group. It's like having someone who's already done that journey ahead of you, who's just pointing out to you how to get the best out of it, where are the really enjoyable things that you should definitely not miss, and you know, some of the difficulties that you might come across.